everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Amber and I run the fashion blog, The Cocoa Butter Diaries. You may be expecting another shoe video because I was doing a four part series on my shoes and I did my boots and my heels already. Well, that's gonna have to wait because your girl is going stir crazy not putting together outfits. I know I'm stuck in the house, but the sweatpants life isn't for me. And so I wanted to be able to create and put together some outfits for you, featuring a lot of the items that I've bought while I've been stuck in the house. <laughs> There's been some great sales going on with some of my favorite brands as far as like, you know, full price items that have just come out. They're doing 25, 30% off. So I couldn't resist. And then also some uh, designer brands are having what they call archive sales where they're deeply discounting items from maybe one, two seasons ago. So if you had your eye on something from one of those collections and it was just too expensive, here's a great chance to get it. You've already made it this far into the video. If you could be so kind as to like it and then also subscribe to my channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much. So let's get into this haul, starting with the outfit that I have on, shall we? Okay, so here we have the first item. It's these a Goldie Chris Cut jeans. Now, um, back in July last year when I went to London, I went to Harrods because what else are you supposed to do in London? You have to go to all the big department stores. And I actually found the uh, mini skirt that is similar to these jeans and I bought it immediately while I was in London and I don't regret it. I've worn it numerous times in different ways. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I think I want the jeans too. Don't mind splurging on denim at all. I feel like they're a worthwhile investment. I love wearing relaxed jeans with like knee high boots because you get this nice little like slouch here that almost makes you look like you have on balloon pants. Uh, these are my uh, Jacques Mousse boots that I got on sale during Black Friday last year. And then I finished the look, I wanted to do denim on denim. So this is, this chambray shirt is uh, from J. Crew. As you can see, it has these beautiful pearl-like details on the buttons and it's a snap button shirt. So. I couldn't resist getting it and it's really soft and it's like the perfect shade. It's not too light and not too dark. So this was the first look I decided to create with these jeans for y'all. But then I've also worn them, like I said, on Instagram already with a different outfit. So what do you think of these jeans? We like. Next outfit. Okay, next step, we have this adorable baby doll dress with this crinkle-like detail from Zara. Uh, this dress was $50, it's so cute. I cannot resist a white baby doll dress. I have so many of them and the crinkled fabric was what sold me on it. I was just like, oh my God, it's so adorable. Um, I love these kinds of dresses because they can easily be dressed up or dressed down. Um, I styled this dress four ways on TikTok. Um, I did it with uh, sneakers. I did it with combat boots. I did it uh, layered with jeans and then I also did it with knee-high boots. So this dress is really really flexible. It's just all in what you make it. You can use it as a top or you can wear it as a dress. This look though I'm styling it with these adorable shoots booties that you saw in my boot collection video. If you haven't watched it these boots are in it. I've had these boots for about uh, four years now. I bought them from the Shoots Boutique um, on Madison Avenue when I was living in New York. So um, I've had these for quite a while. I don't think they're made anymore. And to complete the look, I would throw on um, my trusty Levi's denim trucker jacket. I like oversized jackets with like really girly things. I just like that balance between masculine and feminine. And then I have on my cute little ankle boots. I'm on my way. Okay, next up we have this adorable mauve midi dress that I got from ASOS. I believe this dress cost me about, I think it was like $30. It's really soft. It's really lightweight. Um, I am really happy with this purchase. I bought this at the same, I bought this at the same time that I bought the black dress that I had on in um, my boot collection video, that little off the shoulder uh black jersey dress yeah that was when i bought this as well 
I wasn't sure about it at first, but I'm glad that I bought it. Um, I love the color. It's really pretty. I think it really looks really good against my melanin. If you want to define your waist a little bit more here, you can add a high waist of belt. It's up to you. Um, sometimes I do like to do that since I do have long legs and a short torso, and I'm also only five two and a half. I do like to belt my dresses so that I look taller. Um, but do that at your own leisure. I decided to go the more dressy route by adding the belt. I decided to style it with my little Mark Fisher leopard ankle boots. Um, you could also add like a uh, wide brim hat. Uh, you could do a headband. Um, the accessori accessories with this dress, you could just go ahead and just go nuts. Um, I feel like this dress is plain enough where you could really let your accessories make the statement. So go crazy. So if I did want to dress this look down a little bit, um, I added my navy blue Yankees hat because I love this shade of pink with a uh, navy blue. And then I threw on my white Air Force Ones just to keep it casual. So you could go this direction with the dress too if you wanted to really dress it down. Okay, next up we have this gorgeous linen blend maxi dress that I got from Zara. It was $70. I ordered it online and had it shipped to my house like right before we went on our shelter in place. So I've had it for about a month now. So I'm not sure if it's still sold or not. But um, it's this gorgeous like oatmeal and white uh, stripe. I don't know if you can see the detail, but then also with this crinkle like material again, um, it does come with this belt. Um, but to be honest, with the belt, I feel like it's kind of flat. So I'm going to do what I always do pretty much with dresses and jumpsuits that I get from Zara. I'm going to get rid of it. There, that's more like it, using my Cole Haan belt again. So I feel like this is much better. Defines my waist, adds a little bit more color and um, texture to the outfit. And it also draws your eyes to a higher point, which makes me look taller. And then to finish the look, I decided to go with my gold Fendi boots because why not be a little extra with a dress like this? Um, if I wanted to go for a full on like springy look or if the weather was a lot warmer, then maybe I would do just like my Birkenstocks or my Hermes or Ron sandals again because they're white and they would look really crisp. Uh, against this look and then maybe I throw on a hat uh, like one of my uh, lack of color hats like this one I would use that to complete the look it's not necessary um, yeah so that's pretty much how I would accessorize this look next up we have this fabulous graphic sweatshirt from Anine Bing as you can see it's like a washed black it says Anine Bing across the chest now, this was a full price sweatshirt, but um, I love Anine Bing. I've always wanted some of her pieces. I did buy uh, one of her graphic tees. I drank the Kool-Aid. I bought one of her graphic tees while I was in London from Harvey Nichols. They actually had an Anine Bing boutique in the store. She was doing 25% off, I think she still is actually, of all of her um, merchandise. So this sweatshirt was originally, I believe, $170 and I got it for, I believe, like $130, which isn't that deep of a discount, but you know, I wanted it. So I went ahead and got it anyway. I'm really pleased with it. I love how it kind of has this little bit of a like balloon sleeve detail. That's the one thing I do love about her pieces is that even though they seem basic, she always has these details that kind of elevates them and makes them look not so basic. So even like with the graphic tee that I have of hers, it actually has a mock neck, which I really like and is a really great detail that most people would overlook. So I'm really pleased with this sweatshirt. It's really soft and a lot of her stuff is actually oversized. So this sweatshirt is an extra small. And if I were to style up the sweatshirt, um, I threw on, I'm draping my Eero leather jacket. Um, I have on these J. Crew toothpick uh, high rise jeans in jet black. And then to add a little pop and contrast, I decided to throw on my Attico white knee high boots just to have a little fun, kind of rocker chic yet still casual outfit. What do you think? Okay, next up, we have a utility jumpsuit 
from a brand called Alex Mill that's in New York. Now, I'm a big fan of jumpsuits, mostly for work because it's an easy outfit. You just throw it on, accessorize it, and you're done. Uh, so I really love jumpsuits. I have at least 10 jumpsuits. <laughs> it's all fun and games until you have to go to the bathroom, right? Um, I had never heard of this brand until I was looking on Nikki Ogan's Instagram. She takes mirror selfies of her outfits. And I saw that she had on this really cool jumpsuit and she's also one of the cool people that actually tags the brands of the stuff that she's wearing. So when I saw the jumpsuit, I was like, ooh, that's really cute. And then she tagged the brand. So I was like, oh, they're in New York and they're like a, a small like indie brand. Okay, cool. And then I saw that the jumpsuit was pretty reasonably priced, at least for me anyway, with as much wear as I get out of them. Um, this one, I believe I got, um, I think I got 15% off because I signed up for their website. And so this jumpsuit was normally like 180 and then I got 15% off of that. Um, I got it in a small, I'm really pleased with it. It fits so well. I cannot wait to wear it to work, but for now I'm just gonna wear it around the house. It's this gorgeous khaki color has all the little pockets. I flipped my collar up because why not? Also rolled up the sleeves, has a little belt. But other than that, even without the belt, it fits really good. Like it's fitted in all the right places, but then it's a straight leg jumpsuit. So even though it's slim in the thigh, it's straight in the leg. And so I'm loving it. For a little pop of color, I would throw on my GNV Rossi little red pumps just to have a little fun. But if I was just going to work, I would just probably just throw on my Air Force Ones and call it a day. Okay, here we have another jumpsuit, but this one is short sleeve. Um, it's kind of a linen blend. Um, I got it from Abercrombie. Yeah, I know, Abercrombie is not the same as when I was a teenager where they did all the colors and the graphic tees. They've actually gone a little bit more high fashion, shall we say. Uh, it's a subtle, oatmeal and cream stripe. It comes with this little belt. Um, I got it in a size small. I actually got this jumpsuit for half off. It was originally $88, but the day that I went in and bought it, it was only $44. So who's gonna pass on a $44 jumpsuit that's really well made? Um, I've been a big fan of Abercrombie jumpsuits ever since I bought my uh, army green one last year. I bought it in like February. I think I paid, I got that, I think I got that jumpsuit on sale too. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But ever since I've been a big fan of Abercrombie jumpsuits. So I have three now. I also got a black one that looks similar to this one the day after I bought this one because I loved it so much. Um, if I was going to style this, then I really want to keep it kind of monochromatic. So I would throw on my Gucci Princetown mules. These are in taupe. Um, I got these for Christmas. Uh, I love them. This is like my fifth or sixth pair of these mules. I will never get tired of them. I don't care if people think that they're played out. I love them and they're comfortable. So there's that, but this is the look. Next up, we have this gorgeous maxi dress with pockets, I might add, from Philip Lim. Now, I normally don't buy anything from Philip Lim, but I couldn't resist this dress. It was during the um, archive sale that he was having. Uh, this dress, I got it for $150. Um, I was looking on a uh, hint of Glamour's Insta stories and she was posting all these things that kind of she wished she would have bought or she was thinking about buying. And this dress was one of them. And I was just like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Let me just go see how much it is. And then when I saw how much it was, I was like, you know what, that's not that bad. So I added it to cart immediately and I don't regret it. So pretty and whimsical. And of course I would keep it simple and style it with my Hermes Iran sandals so that we just have a nice crisp look for when we go to brunch with the girls. Next up is this crinkle material maxi dress that I got from Zara. It's the similar fabric to the white one that I uh, debuted first. Um, if you follow my Instagram, I actually wore this dress on my Instagram yesterday. I did a photo shoot in my backyard and that looked really whimsical and I wore this dress. 
Um, I love it. It was about $90. Um, I bought it online at the same time as I bought the uh, oatmeal and cream linen maxi dress. It's so pretty. I just want to twirl in it all the time and just run through a field because why not? And um, to style it up a little bit differently, I didn't have on shoes in the photos yesterday. I just feel like it would just be really fun to wear this dress with my Tevas. Um, Tevas are only 50 bucks. I actually got these on the Tevas website. They're super comfortable. And if you haven't noticed, dad sandals are really back in with a vengeance. So instead of splurging on the Chanel ones, I decided to get these Tevas and I achieved the same look and I'm pretty happy about it. And last but certainly not least, we have this denim jumpsuit from H&M. Now, I saw this on my girl, Shauna, Brown Girl Stylish on Instagram. She was wearing it in her feet and I was just like, girl, that jumpsuit looks amazing and it looks amazing on you. I have to have it. So I saw that it was still in stock. I bought it. I don't regret it. It's so comfortable. It's like got that perfect light wash. I don't actually have a denim jumpsuit. So this one is perfect. Um, it has this kind of pull through belt. Um, I had a lot of extra fabric. So I did this little knot here just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, it is long sleeve, so I could unbutton the sleeves and roll them up just like I would a denim jacket. Uh, it's really comfortable. The, the hem length is perfect. It hits me right at the ankle. I'm short, so I'm really snobbish about those kinds of things. And to round out the look, I would wear my Dior slingbacks because I think the pop of white with this outfit would just be perfect. It really brings out the white undertones in the denim. And yeah, I'd be on my merry little way. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Bye.